Welcome traders to the TradingView YouTube channel. My name is Stuart and today we are looking into crypto open interest. On screen I do have the Bitcoin US dollar futures contract for March 26 using the Bybit exchange and I'm going to come up to the top of the screen here and if you want to follow along um, open a chart on TradingView and then come up to this icon click that one indicators metrics and strategies and inside the search box you need to write crypto and as you write that you will see crypto open interest once we select this it will appear at the bottom of our chart now open interest is the total number of outstanding unsettled derivative contracts that exist in the market so all these positions basically are open um, at that one time and this data updates intraday okay so this gives you uh, kind of like a real time pulse of uh, you know the market leverage now TradingView does have this uh, built-in official indicator called crypto open interest and this indicator will give you the raw open interest data for a single exchange so for example whether that be with Binance or Bybit you know um, as in this scenario I'm using the buy bit so this would be the open interest so all those positions that are open currently on buy bit for this particular contract um, is basically what this is telling us now crypto trading is fragmented across um, dozens of different exchanges as I'm sure you know so to get the true market picture um, you can also get aggregated open interest and this sums up the open interest from all major exchanges so whether that be Bybit, Binance, uh, Crocan for example into one metric so you can also find resources uh, the tools for this um, by searching for crypto open interest uh, aggregated for example and you can write that into the indicator box up here into the search box and you will find uh, other resources uh, to facilitate that okay what we need to understand is how to interpret the uh, data so the key is to watch the relationship between the price and the open interest so for example if we just take a look at the chart that I have on screen right now and we can see um, when Bitcoin was what 82,000 we can see this uh, move to the upside here and if we look down at the open interest we can see the open interest really reflected this move because open interest is rising price is rising so this would give us the heads up that the market is strong and looking bullish because new money is flowing into the market and we're getting confirmation of that in this uptrend okay so we're seeing basically strong bullish sentiment at the same time um, when the price is rising but open interest is falling this can be interpreted as being you know a weak or to be a bit cautious because the trend may be uh, getting exhausted um, this could also be short covering so no one's buying its positions closing and those shorts are getting out and of course to get out of a short they, they basically buy in back right so we're seeing that push up here for example which is not new money coming in it's these positions closing as you can see um, in addition to that we also have a price that is falling and open interest is rising so we can find example here so we have price falling here and open interest rising and this is clearly new money is supporting this downtrend okay so then we have a, a stronger bearish uh, sentiment um, and of course uh, last is falling price and falling open interest and obviously that's uh, the downtrend may be losing momentum and you know people are closing positions so a good example of that would be uh, this area here because um, we've just had a Christmas period it's obviously been very quiet uh, volume is definitely dropped and here we do see um, falling price 
and we also see a drop in open interest so that kind of matches the story of um, basically that that holiday that holiday season okay once you're comfortable with reading the open interest you know you can dive into more advanced tools on the TradingView platform so whether that be something like a, another indicator so for example you know there are indicators which will show you uh, where the most contracts are open so similar to a volume profile and this can help you identify for example support resistance liquidation zones and as well as that we also have footprint charts so a footprint chart as I can show you here uh, if we open the footprint chart it allows you to show you open interest changes that happen inside of each candle so you can see these are obviously conventional candles that we're all familiar with but if we open up a footprint chart and we come down here to volume footprint and we select that one it's going to look a little bit different and potentially if you've never seen this before it can look a little bit intimidating but once you learn it obviously it's um, it's quite simple so you can see the uh, candle here and we can see basically these numbers and they correlate to the information of what's going on inside of that candle so it basically gives you a breakdown of each candle in terms of is this move happening because of longs opening shorts covering and so on so this is advanced order flow analysis and uh, this is another available option uh, to explore once you feel comfortable of course uh, but in the beginning this crypto open interest uh, indicator is also fantastic to get a foot in the door and begin to learn so to recap you start with the crypto open interest indicator to understand those basics and then perhaps move on to the aggregated open interest indicator and that way you get to see the whole market as opposed to that one exchange I'm just going to change that back there we go um, always analyze the open interest in context with the price okay so you use basically the scenarios that I gave you earlier in the video to gauge uh, trend strength or weakness and you can explore the advanced uh, profile and footprint tools um, as of when you're ready um, inside of the trading view platform just remember that open interest is a measure of commitment and by learning open interest it really is a game changer because you're able to understand who's participating in the market uh, you're able to understand and see um, without you know opening any position um, who are the retail traders that are perhaps you know fomoing in to a move that's just not there so it really is very powerful once you uh, master how to read it and in the volatile crypto markets it doesn't really give you that direct signal but it certainly does give you that crucial context about the strength behind a move so um, I do encourage uh, more reading and more education when it comes to open interest uh, because it is one of the most important tools for understanding the derivatives market and uh, let's face it that is exactly what is driving the crypto price action so or very much so please continue to uh, like the videos ensure to subscribe we do have a lot of content to come out in the very near future and I really do hope this video has given you some perspective as to what open interest is and how you can utilize it in your trading so please do continue to support us uh, give us a like and I will see you in the next video thank you